The purple flesh sweet potato is making headway into the Uganda pastry industry with its deep color, rich flavor, and health benefits such as antioxidants, especially anthocyanins, which offer anti-inflammatory benefits and can support heart health, brain function, and the immune system. Scientists say it could serve as a nutritious substitute for wheat. This should be a habit, okay? consume nutritious foods, but then also to adopt these technologies as a way of uh, earning more from crop produce, as a way of creating jobs for the youth, but also as a way of really creating uh, sustainable production systems. The value chain is very sustainable if we go into value addition. Work on the new varieties started eight years ago after seeds from the North Carolina State University were cross-pollinated with indigenous varieties from Uganda. In this room, thousands of varieties have been carefully screened and tested for years, leading to the development of a superior purple flesh sweet potato. The high-yielding varieties stand out for its resilience to extreme weather and scientists say it could play a key role in strengthening food security. The varieties have also been tested across the country with farmers and proven to cope well with the climate here. One of them, this one, the P36, has 19 tons per hectare, and then these other two actually all yield above 20 tons per hectare, meaning they're actually high yielding varieties that farmers can produce. Secondly, they have high dry matter content. You know, our communities always want to eat sweet potatoes that are a bit flowery, that are yeah. not soft, okay? Yeah. So we have to address that. Scientists say the traditional varieties only yield four tons per hectare, which is about five times less than the new variety, an increase that will help boost farmers' income. As climate change intensifies, so too does the challenge to produce enough food domestically. But researchers are confident the new potato varieties will help them weather the storm. Most of the farmers, when they leave uh, their crop in the field, and when there are high um, temperatures, this pest is very rampant in the fields. So we have to breed for resistant varieties to this. And for the purple flesh sweet potatoes, they, uh, we have moderate levels of resistance to the sepulchral weevil and also the sepulchral virus disease. So uh, these are some of the constraints we breed for, and we have made. Um, um, acceptable gains. Sweet potato is a staple food in Uganda and the aim is that harnessing more of its potential can help address food insecurity. Scientists are hopeful that with these latest innovations the future is both golden and purple. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN Kampala, Uganda.